in Utah. We're going to find out about the Epic machine. It hasn't been shipped yet, and so I think I'm going to be the first person to see it. I'm pretty excited. Here's a look at their office. You can see the quick cut sign. Nice location here, right off the freeway. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Here I am at the Quick Cuts office. They've got so many cute things, everything that you see on their website. And this is their office. They get to come to work here every day with all these cute things. Here's their creation station with their new Silhoua SD, which I've heard you will be seeing tonight. These, I think, are so cute. They have them on their website. And I wondered how they did that, so let me just show you what the inside of the book looks like. They just cut little tabs. Most of them actually go all the way. Around. Yeah, here's one you can see all the way around. They just put the background paper here, cut a little tab up here, and fit it around the book. So if you have a bunch of books in your bookshelf that you don't think are cute, make them cute. You can see they've done some etching here. A lot of work on wood or canvas in their office. And here's their workstation. Everything they need to get creative. Glues, scissors, mats, cutting tools ribbon more paper than you believe <laughs> right in the way hey everybody from Lasting Memories I'm Chris enjoy the epic launch party tonight buy lots and lots of epic tools so I can come out and visit here shortly that's right how do they how do you get to come out and visit well, the more you buy the faster I come out for a visit and you really want to see Washington, huh? I've never been to Washington, but I've heard it's beautiful, so <laughs> I'm more than happy to come out there. And I'll look a little more professional than I did on Friday at Quick Cuts. <laughs> it's casual Friday here at Quick Cuts. All right. Here's their office. You've seen everything you need to see. And now I'm going to go home and edit the video so you can have it tonight. See ya. Hello, my friends. My name is actually Kirk Pete. I am the uh, marketing director here at Quick Cuts. We wanted to actually give you just a quick little overview of the Epic tool, the Epic 6 tool. We're extremely excited about a uh, completely new innovation here from Quick Cuts. Uh, it's basically going to allow you to cut not just the Quick Cut dies, but any of the major brand uh, die cutting dies that, that are out in the marketplace. And so we're going to give you just, a, again, a really quick overview. I wanna, want you to keep in mind that these are prototypes. And... Um, help you kind of see exactly what you're going to be getting when you purchase the Epic 6 tool, which by the way, right now the, the retail for the Epic 6 tool is $89.99, however if you pre-purchase it by the end of August, you save an extra $20 off, plus you get a mail-in rebate that's a value of uh, $24.99 or more. So take advantage of that, purchase the tool as soon as possible if you haven't so that you can uh, save over $40 in, uh, in, in product and, and uh, overall. So. Uh, just really quickly, here is actually the guts of the Epic tool. This is what you'll, you, would, you wouldn't see this. You'd see kind of the outside edge. Some of the most important parts of the tool itself, comparing it to some of the uh, competitors in the marketplace, the fact that you see that these, this will end up being all metal working parts. In fact, right here, the prototype itself is plastic. However, uh, in the tool, uh, all the gears and all the pieces are actually uh, of metal part. Sliding right over here as we get away from this because no scrapbooker wants to see a tool like that. That's uh, a little ugly and nasty. But we put some fun little uh, frilly areas here, which you'll actually see the opportunity to put some skin or skins over the top, and, and I'll show uh, pretty that up. Uh, but this is actually the prototype of the Epic 6 tool. Uh, as you look through, the, the, top, the top casing here is actually a clearer plastic. Um, so that you can see the metal parts that are inside there. And uh, actually, a couple of things they've done is um, kind of uh, made the, the, the sides of this 
metal piece right here a little thinner so that it allows the tool to give you a cleaner cut with not just quick cuts dies but also um, a lot of the competitors dies that you'll see. Um, and you'll slide this in very similar to what you've seen with uh, a lot of tools that are in the marketplace um, with a couple of different platforms here. So you've got the tool and then we've actually got two different platforms. Again, one of the things that I tell you to do is don't pay too much attention to the colors that you see here with the platforms. What you'll actually see when you get these two platforms in the case with the Epic 6 is the fact that you'll get a, an embossing platform that you'll use with any of your uh, quick cuts embossing dies or, or embossing folders and you'll get a cutting platform. The cutting platform itself of course is built for the quick cuts dies and any of the chemically etched dies that you uh, see in the marketplace. Now the colors, like I said, the platform colors that you see here are not the exact same colors you'll get in the package. The colors you'll get in the package are for the cutting platform, it'll actually be this light gray that matches the Epic 6 tool. And then the embossing platform will be this darker charcoal uh, gray. Uh, and that, that will be the two colors that you'll actually see when you purchase the tool. So I'm going to just quickly show you how you would cut a quick cuts or chemically etched die. Um, and then maybe in future episodes, when we actually do some other ones, we'll show you how you can use some of the competitors' dies. But one of the really neat things, again, about the, the tool itself is in order to cut a lot of those competitors' dies that are chemically etched or things that you'll see like a cuddle bug or a, uh, uh, I'm trying to blank, I'm blanking out here on some of the other dies here, Sizzix, Sizzlets, things like that, you'll actually be able to, the, the tool itself comes with all of the items that you'll need there. It'll come with the cutting mat. You'll use this same cutting mat no matter what die you're cutting and then it will come with the platforms that allow you to, that basically are a certain thickness. The, the, the uh, embossing platform is a thinner platform than the cutting, of course, because when you're using a quick cuts embossing folder, it's, it's going to be thicker than a normal die. And this is where you would use a, sicker, uh, a, thicker, <laughs> a thicker die or a thicker competitor die uh, to, to cut with. Now, the other, the, the one type of die that you'd have to get one extra item on would be a steel rule die, and all you would do is purchase one extra cutting mat so that you could use that as the platform. Then you could put the steel rule die on top of it and then use the, the cutting mat like we're going to use right now. So, so just really quickly, I'm going to show you how we'll use this, uh, this cutting platform. You'll basically place the die on top just like you would uh, the revolution tool that you've seen in the past, and then at that point, Put your piece of cardstock or paper or media type that you want to cut. Then you'll slide the cutting mat on top. At that point, you'll roll that through until the Epic 6 grabs a hold. And then you'll pull that through if I can do it correctly. And we're going to cut. I think we're going to do, well, we're actually going to pass this over here so, you, so uh, you can get a second testimony on how easy the tool is to, uh, to use. And I'll just kind of hold this in. Oh, yeah, push it the other way so we can slide that through. It feels pretty sturdy um, to the people who have the Revolution or have used it. You can kind of feel when it's cutting, and I can feel the rollers cutting through the paper. And this is a prototype, so for a prototype, it's working out really well. Uh, you can actually see on the back side here it's cutting, cutting really well. We'll pull this out in just a second and pull out the die. Again, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but these, uh, these cutting platforms are 13 inches long, so you'll be able to cut any of the quick cuts dies. Uh, that includes the border dies, which is what, what we've cut here, um, that are you know um, up to as long as 12 inches. And there's even dies out in the marketplace now that I hear is uh, that are even up to 12 and a half inches. You can see a very crisp cut. You've got some of these little pieces that we just got to pop out, but they come out pretty easy. Uh, but a really nice clean cut. What do you think? It's good. I like it. She's ready to buy it. I'm let's, ready let's to buy be, it. Let's I, just be honest. I'm actually I'm taking this one home. Bye. <laughs>